Yo, what's going on guys? Logic here with another Ninjala video today. There's been a bunch of Ninjala related news in the recent days. There's a new event coming out, the Matsuri event. There's been leak stages and weapons. Also a Jala lottery that's taking place by the official Ninjala Twitter account. So let's get into talking about all that great stuff. Okay, so let's talk about this event. It's called the first Epon Matsuri Festival, right? It takes place during July 21st, 2020 to July 26th, 2020, which is Pacific Daylight Time. That's my specific time. That's not even in my time zone, to be honest, but that's the one I can kind of correlate with. If you're like BST or AEST, it's the 22nd all the way to the 27th. So we all roughly get around five days to do this event. So it says here, set records together, rewards for total EPON scores. See how many Epon you can score. During the festival, the total number of Epon scored by all players in quick battles, ninjala battles, and room battles will be counted up. This will apply to all rule settings and all stages. So this is ranked, normal matches, just like free battles and everything. Like everything's gonna be counted. How to score an Epon. Defeat an opponent from a parry state, from a gum bind, or using gum ninjutsu to score an Epon. So they actually tell us how to get it. That's I don't think that's information that's in the game. So that's kind of cool. Earn rewards according to the total number of Epon scored by all players. So this is all players, not just if you win or not just if you place top three. Everybody from first all the way to last. Rewards will be distributed to all based upon the total number of Epons achieved by all players. The higher the total number of Epons, the more extravagant the rewards will be. Rewards will be distributed via in-game email after a result for the final day has been calculated. So updates on the current total number of Epon achieved will be reported regularly on the official Ninjala social media channels. So probably their Twitter, I assume. Uh, pretty much what it goes is, so 1 million Epons will get the bronze medal, 2 million will get the silver medals, 4 million will get 10 gold medals, which is, <laughs> it's a little amount, but it's okay, you know, I, I wish they would give us more. 6 million, 1,000 bronze medals, 8 million, 200 silver medals and then 10 million epons is like 20 gold medals man that's a, that's a lot of epons 10 million holy cow but i mean I, i'm sure we could do it but that still feels like a lot so next up is ninjala twitter campaign basically you have a chance to win a thousand jala which is pretty good and 100 people can win right so all you have to do is follow the official ninjala twitter account ninjala underscore jp or play ninjala and retweet the designated tweet and you'll be entered to a drawing to win a thousand jalas you know it's the in-game currency and 100 100 players will receive the prize so this will take place between july 21st 2020 through july 26th same as the actual event so just look out for that how to participate you know we went over it follow ninjala's official twitter account the jp or the play ninjala Retweet tweets with the campaign hashtag Epon Matsuri, tweeted by Ninjala's official Twitter account. Anyone with a Twitter account can apply. If you do not follow the Ninjala's official Twitter account, or if you retweet a tweet without the campaign hashtag, you will not be eligible for the lottery. So make sure you uh, you do all these things. Uh, you get a thousand Jala and 100 people can win. So get excited. This is awesome. 1,000 Jala, dude, get excited, sign up. Follow him on Twitter. What are you doing? Do it now. So next up is I don't I don't know if this is real or not or if it's if it's fake. It's just been thrown around. I've seen it on Reddit. I've seen it on the Discord. So I just thought I might talk about it. There's been a leak that we're getting a new a whole new weapon group. You know we have swords, we have hammers, we have yo-yos. Well, there's a new leak that's saying we might get like boards, right? So there's it has like a skateboard. Looks like to be a long board. A surfboard and a sword. I don't know how that's a board, but we're gonna go with it. Uh, but it looks cool. Like it, it looks cool. It looks like it could be interesting. It looks like it could be fun. I don't know what type of cool combos or even gum shots that could be uh, associated with these boards. But I'm I'm excited to see. Excited to see how they're gonna do it. Excited to see what they have planned for these new weapons and uh, how they're gonna just fit the meta right now. You know, everybody. Everybody says the drill's the best and the hammer, the sound hammer's the best, but who knows? These these new weapons might change up change it up like indefinitely. Okay, so this next picture is going to be stage leaks. 
I don't know if these are real, but they are definitely more believable than the last photo. It's not in my language, so I don't understand what's going on, but this definitely seems more real. Um, you have Shinobi City, Japan, Croissant Arena, France, uh, Fort Riverdale, United Kingdom. Like these all look like they could be in the game like tomorrow. We're only getting one stage season two. So only one of these are gonna make it out of the three. I would love to see Shinobi City, but if any of the other ones make it in, I'd be happy to see that too. Doesn't really matter. But um, I, I definitely like to see some variety in stages. I would rather they add more stages than weapons, to be honest, because we only have two and I'm tired. I'm tired. I am tired of Eagle City. I hate looking at it. But um, any one of these would be fantastic. Uh, which, which one would you like? Which one would you prefer if these do turn out to be real? Let me know. Well, with all that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. How do you guys feel about the Matsuri event? How do you guys feel about these new leaks for the weapons and the stages? Is there anything you're wanting or excited for? Let me know. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. Share it around. Let people know. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.